Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on a very basic grammar topic which is a sentence. I will tell you about a sentence, what are phrases and also about the two parts of a sentence which are called subject as well as predicate. Before proceeding any further, I would like to tell you that if you are new to my channel, you must subscribe to it because here I give you valuable lessons on idioms and phrases, various grammar rules, vocabulary building, pronunciation, facts related to English and much more. There is learning happening in my channel. So if you like this video, you can subscribe to it and share it with your friends. So let's begin today's topic. It is sentence and phrases. Now, what is a sentence? In English, what is a sentence? So, as you know that group of words join together and making a meaningful sentence, it would be called as a complete sentence. A sentence is a group of words that make complete sense by itself. Okay? So, examples are John works hard. Now, if we talk only about works hard, it will be called a phrase. Because phrase does not make a complete sense. It, make, it should have a subject which is either a noun, pronoun or something denoting a pronoun or noun. So, uh, next example is I like to read books. To read books again is a phrase. But here, when we include a subject, okay, like I, I has been included over here. So, that means a subject has been included and now this is making a complete sense. So, that is called a sentence. There are few features of sentence that it is a group of words that make complete sense that we have already learned. It begins with a capital letter like here, uh, whichever sentence you take, it always begins with a capital letter and it ends with a full stop. It can be a sign of exclamation marks. Okay. So, this is the exclamation mark and it can also be a question mark. So, there are various types of sentences. After a few days, I will be making a video on types of sentences. There, I will be explaining them in detail. Here, we will be talking about only the basic sentence as well as phrases and also about the two parts of sentence which are subject and predicate. So, let's move ahead now. These are two parts of a sentence which are subject and predicate subject is the first part of a sentence that tells what a sentence is about that means the main part of a sentence about whom we talk in a sentence is called a subject and the second part predicate is the second part of a sentence that says something about the subject so first part would be a subject and what all we tell about that subject would be the predicate. So, let us see some important features of both. Subject is always a noun, a pronoun or a group of words that describe or that does the work of a noun. Like examples, the old palace is considered haunted. So, we are talking about the old palace and what about the old palace it is considered haunted so this is what we are talking about so this is the predicate and this is the main subject of the sentence moving on to the next one all the boys are in the ground all the boys here is the subject and rest is the predicate some features about the predicate as well the predicate may consist of one word or several words with the essential word being a verb. Now, this is very important that in the predicate, the most important part is having a verb. Let's learn it with the help of example. My dress is beautiful. So, my dress is the subject over here. Is is the helping verb. Is beautiful. The verb is the very essential word or part in the predicate. So, you have learned what is a subject, what is a predicate. Now, in a sentence, how to find out what is a subject? Because sometimes subjects are very confusing. They are very long and 
some students get confused that how to find out that which is the subject in the particular sentence so let's learn it by doing a simple exercise identify the subject and the predicate in the following points eight points are given we will just practice over here before moving further just look at the hint which is given identify the verb in a sentence and then ask what or who before it okay so what will you get the answer would be always the subject so let us see first we will find out what is the verb in a particular sentence and then we will be putting the questions in front of it Meena has come first in the race okay so come has come helping verb and verb is come so we will ask who has come first in the race Meena so we have got our answer our answer is Meena that is why it is the subject lazy boys come last so in this sentence come is the verb before the verb place the question now what comes last or who comes last lazy boys lazy boys will become the subject the sun rises in the east rises is the verb now what rises in the east the sun the sun is the subject rest is the predicate the foolish crow tried to be the peacock try try tried tried three forms of verb so try tried is the verb in this sentence we will ask the question who tried to be the peacock the foolish crow so foolish crow is the subject over here my parents and my brother have gone to the market now this is a tricky one because this is a long subject here helping verb along with the verb is have gone okay so we will ask who have gone to the market so answer is my parents and my brother so it is not only about my parents neither it is about my brother it is the combination because this has been joined with the help of conjunction and my parents and my brother have gone to the market so this becomes the subject here it is a longish kind of subject i have met raman's father now met is the verb this is helping verb so this all will be the predicate i'll write down p here i is the subject over here i have met who have met i have met thousands of trees have been cut to construct the stadiums have been cut okay so this is the verb so this all is the predicate p so what have been cut thousands of trees so you will not say that only trees is the subject it is thousands of trees the whole thing is the subject the teacher gave him a prize gave is the verb who gave him a prize the teacher the teacher is the subject so this topic is quite important because once you are able to find out subject in a particular sentence you it will become very easy for you to solve another grammar based exercise which is called subject verb agreement okay so that video is coming up later on stay tuned to my channel if you have liked the video and learned something from it do subscribe to it like the video and please share it with your friends thank you all for watching